Good morning all our friends, it's Miss Amber. Today is Tuesday and on the calendar we're going to be learning about two painters from America. The first painter I'm going to be talking about is a painter named Jackson Pollock. But before I get into him and his work and doing a recreation of one of his style paintings, I wanted to do the calendar and the weather and sing the good morning song. Okay, so let's take out our calendars. Today's Tuesday, the 26th, so we'll start with the days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and let's begin again. Sunday, Monday, Monday, what comes after Monday? Tuesday. All right, let's count our numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and today is twenty-six. Today is Tuesday, May twenty-six. 2020. Great. We're outside today because Jackson Pollock's painting was a style that used a lot of action and a lot of movement and it could get really messy. So I wanted to do the art activity outside today, which is perfect because we can now do the weather song. So let's look outside and sing the weather song. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather? All our friends. Is it windy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? Okay, I already went ahead and um, sent home the new weather chart, but I wanted to reuse this page so we're not wasting. And I wrote May 26th, and today it is very hot. So I drew a picture of the sun and a clear sky with no clouds because it's very hot today. Okay. Now let's sing the good morning song. Good morning, good morning, good morning all our friends. We love you, we miss you, please sit down, let's begin. Good morning, good morning, good morning all our friends. We love you, we miss you, please sit down, let's begin. Great, Jackson Pollock. Here is a picture of Jackson Pollock. And here is a picture of him painting on the floor, which is a really special technique that he used, okay? Paul Jackson Pollock was his full name, but he always went by Jackson Pollock. He was an American painter and a major artist during the Abstract Expressionist Movement. Pollock was born in Coding, Wyoming in 1912, and he died in Springs, New York in 1956. In the 1940s, when he was in his 30s, Jackson Pollock moved to New York City and started painting with liquid paint, which is a really liquidy paint that was not used very much at the time. It was mostly used in people's houses to paint walls and stuff because it was so liquidy and it moved so freely. He would use liquid household paints like the paint you would use in your walls, and then instead of painting on an easel, he would move his canvas to the floor. And that was something that was also really new at the time. Most people painted on canvas like we do in the classroom on an easel standing up. But he moved his canvas to the floor so that he could see from every angle how he wanted his painting to look. And he would use liquid paints that he would splatter and drip and spread and um, do a lot of action movements to make his paintings. And he would walk around his painting on the floor and he would add drips and more splatters and he would spread the paint across the canvas. He became well known for this new technique of splatter painting on the floor and having his canvas on the floor and standing over it allowed him to see his artwork from all angles. He would move around his painting almost like in a dance and he would stretch his arms across the canvas and really splatter the paint all over the floor. The style of painting became known as action painting because it used a lot of action movements. His nickname was Jack the Dripper because he would drip and splatter paint on his canvas, which was a new technique. His paintings are in museums all over the world and they're very famous because they were so new at the time and they have sold for tens of hundreds of millions of dollars. Okay, so here are a few examples of his paintings. Do you see how it splatters and drips? 
Here's another one with reds and yellows and blacks. And here's my favorite with blacks, whites, blues, and yellows. And then here's a picture of him standing over his canvas and splattering the paint. Do you see how much movement it took? Okay, so in honor of Jackson Pollock as the American painter, I brought some liquid paints from my house that I had. I had paint and I just added some water and I put them in cups and I brought popsicle sticks and brushes because he would splatter paint with sticks or um, big brushes, painting brushes, house brushes, whatever he had. And he would also just drip from the can his paints on the paper. So we're going to do some drip painting today outside. And I would like you to see the technique of action painting, okay? And if you feel comfortable and you have space in your backyard, you could do some action painting of your own. All right, now let's take a look at this type of style painting. Okay. So here I have my canvas and here I have my paints. Hey, great. So here is my action painting. It still needs to dry, but that's how. That's how Jackson Pollock painted. He would use the canvas on the floor and he would walk around his work and splatter paint. And his famous technique was what made him so popular because it was something that was never done before. So here again is Jackson Pollock painting on the floor, self-portrait, and all of his paintings. I hope you enjoyed learning about Jackson Pollock and his action painting technique. And I hope that if you have time and the materials, you can do your own action painting at home. Okay, friends. Bye. I hope you had a wonderful long weekend and I'm so excited to see you guys in our Zoom meeting.